All right, man. This is your boy Money, man. Uh, today I'm gonna do uh, a little episode about uh, Bears, Chicago Bears, and oh my God, like I'm really, really sick to my stomach right now. Like I said, I want to puke. I want to throw up. I want to hurl. It's time to boycott Chicago, at least when it comes to the Bears. Like these dudes don't want to win. They're incompetent. The owners need to, the, the the owners they need to go on about their business, sell the team to somebody who wants to win. They obviously don't want to win. They're still stuck in the '60s and the '50s. Um, somebody had mentioned on, on on one of those YouTube channels that the Bears never drafted a colored quarterback, and I'm thinking like, oh my God, colored really? But at the same time, I thought about it, like maybe this person like 75 years old, 80 years old. That's the word they call back in the day were colored. So since he's been around, he knows that there hasn't been any. Uh, per, per, uh, quarterback in the Bears actual history that was been any good for that matter or drafted that was of, of color or you know of darker skin complexion or whatnot this is sickening y'all this is very disrespectful I don't know if Ryan Pace came to Chicago to ruin Chicago you know what I'm saying I don't know what he did, but this dude is trash. He needs to be fired. And everybody, let me just make a case for Matt Nagy before y'all start getting on his ass. You know what I'm saying? He don't make decisions, man. He didn't want Andy Dalton, I'm pretty sure. He just went with what, you know, we need another quarterback on the Larissa. So I understand the move somewhat, but I don't expect neither one of those guys to be the future of the team. So I believe we're going to, what's going to happen is we're going to start uh, probably one or the other. Uh, foes or, um, you know, of course, the redhead guy, Dalton. We're going to start either one of those, but I think believe we're going to go get Cal Trash from Florida. I believe he's going to be around around that time. Him or Kellen Mond from Texas A&M. And I don't mind neither one of those guys. I know y'all don't y'all ain't happy on those guys because nobody else is happy on those guys, but think about it for a second. A lot of they, – they wasn't how Mahomes neither when he went, you know what I'm saying? And they really won how Deshaun Watson when he came out, even after going to two back-to-back national championships games, they went in one. They wasn't even how him. They was more how Trubisky from North Carolina, which is known as a basketball high school, basketball state, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. What the fuck have North Carolina put out and on, on, on uh, paper? Bucky Brooks? Like, let's cut this out, man. Let's just, just be honest here, man. You know what I'm saying? The Bears are – they're the flux. They're they're done. It's time to get rid of Pace. It's time to get rid of the owner. You know what I'm saying? It's time to sell a team. It's time to do it. Ted Phillips. He's he had I had enough of him. Like it's it's about that time. Matt Nagy, I say he stays because he still hasn't picked his quarterback that he wants, and I'm pretty sure he didn't want no old ass fragile quarterback besides for leadership. So I think these two moves, me personally, this is my opinion. I think these two moves that we got at quarterback, which is Foles and the Redhead, you know, is like Bridge quarterbacks pretty much. I think they're going to bring in, like I said, Kelly Mon or uh, Kyle Trask from Florida, and uh, we're going to end up using those two. Uh, you know, they're going to end up – one of those guys going to end up being our quarterback of the future, but I believe that these guys are Bridge quarterbacks. They're, they're going to start a few games to this year, and they're going to uh, help the youngsters along. I, I believe it's going to be Kyle Trask that's what we're looking at because uh, Bears have a thing with Florida. In Alabama, for some reason, I believe it's going to be in Georgia. So those three teams, those three uh, college teams, they have a, a, a fatuation with. So I believe they're going to uh, end up grabbing Cal Trask out of, out of there. And they're going to groom him. But I think he's ready now. I honestly think he's ready now. I don't – a lot of people not hound him, but I am. I like his arm. I like his uh, his accuracy. He's not uh, accurate all the time, but about 80% of the time he's pretty accurate. He has a, a, a good arm, an arm that can last in the NFL for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? His decision-making is pretty good. So, I mean, I know he had Kyle Pitts and things like that, you know what I'm saying, the Tony and all his other things down in Florida. But a lot, a lot of teams, Matt Jones had everybody So, at, at Alabama. So he's still going to go high, too. And people are going to, you know, they boosted him all the way up there, too. You know what I'm saying? So I believe Kyle Trask going to be better than him. And that's just my opinion. You know, we all have those. But at the same time, back to the Bears and their moves. Uh, like I said, I believe they're doing this for a bridge. You know, just to have three quarterbacks on the roster. I believe they're going to cut Tyler Bray in the future. And they're going to uh, – because he's not costing that much right now to even be on the roster. But I believe he's going to be on the practice squad. And they're going to end up drafting a quarterback. And that's going to be that. You know what I'm saying? 
But the thing is, like, Bears fans should be upset. I'm, I'm very upset. I know we're all upset. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it on my face, but I'm not too happy. I'm, I was having a bad day. And these guys is horrible, man. Like, this is the worst ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm starting to think, like, I don't even know if I want to be a Bears fan. It's been 33 years of trash at quarterback, and I'm tired. Man. I'm, th- I'm almost believing that I can get out there at my age and throw this football, which I know is highly impossible. But I, you might as well. You're picking all these other fuckers. You might as well just pick me. Go and pick your boy. You know what I'm saying? Don't let me get out there. Give me generation wealth for being a bum. You know what I'm saying? I know my arm ain't all that good, you know, but uh, it's, it's probably average like theirs. You know what I'm saying? Like real, I know y'all like, oh no, I ain't get so much better. Yes, it is. I believe it is. You know what I'm saying? The way I be looking at these guys, these guys are trash, trash. So, uh, I think it's time for Ryan Pace to go for show. He got to go for show. He moved up to get Mitchell Trubisky out of North Carolina. Like, come on, man. That's not. I don't care what none of y'all say. I watched the draft. Every Bears fan in the world was disappointed when they took Mitchell Trubisky. You're not going to tell me they wasn't. And the reason why I know this, because while they were sitting in the draft rooms and all these other places like that, you know what I'm saying? The white people, and I'm going to say this, the Caucasian people, they were very upset when they took Mitch Trubisky. Okay? You should have seen the looks on their face. If you think I'm lying, go back and look at the draft that, and see what happens. See all the looks and the shocked faces in the crowd. Especially Bears fans. Even other fans. They look like, ah, dummies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is sickening. I know Deshaun Watson like, huh? Like, this is sickening, man. And that's what makes me believe that there is a problem with them drafting uh, quarterbacks of color. Or color quarterbacks that are black or Latino or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? This is sickening, man. Like, come on, man. Who's doing the scouting around here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all bitched about Gress Grossman? Gress Grossman got us to the Super Bowl, okay? Yeah, he jagged the Super Bowl, but he got us there, okay? And that defense wasn't nearly as good as that our defense with that Brian Urlacher defense that went to the Super Bowl that year. It wasn't as good as this defense was the last couple of years or 2019 defense and none of that shit. So you're not going to tell me that needed because I watched that Super Bowl and I watched that year. We were, they were good, but they weren't as good. Yeah, they had a really good linebacker cure, core. And they had Peanut back there shutting stuff down, you know what I'm saying? But they wasn't this good, you know, and it's when, like the 2019 Bears was. We supposed to went to the Super Bowl, but regardless of the kick, Mitch wasn't able to put no points on the board. He was going against a backup quarterback, which is a backup quarterback for us right now, which is Nick Foles. How did you lose to this guy? You know what I'm saying? So the, that told me enough about Mitch. I'm, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing about Mitch besides the fact that he's better than Andy Dahl. That's the only thing you can say to me that I agree with. Other than that, that dude's a bum. He's trash. He's trash. I don't care if you uh, so-called Bear fans are upset with me because I said that. You, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's your business. That's your feelings. You can be all you want. You can talk all the crazy shit you want to talk in the comments. I don't care. What I do care about is the Bears got them actually taking money that we're putting into their program, into their system, uh, and, and, and give back to the community. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is sick, man. This is This is not cool. You know, if I know Chicago like I know Chicago because I'm from Chicago, if I know like I know that them states, uh, if they don't do something fast and this the only hiring that they're going to do it, fucking, they're going to boycott Chicago. They're going to boycott the Bears. There's going to be empty seats in that stadium. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. You know what I'm saying? Just remember, they booed Mitch at a Bulls game. That should have told y'all something when he got drafted. They should have told y'all something, man. Like, come on, man, I ain't the only person that think like that. Y'all got these wishful thinkers in here and believe us, oh, he's 29 and 21. I'd be 29 and 21, too, if I had that defense. You know what fucking Russell Wilson would be with that defense? Like the, like, like, like the one he had with Legion of Boom? You know what Tom Brady would be with that defense? You know what Drew Brees would be with that defense? You know what any of these quarterbacks, any decent quarterback would be that, that's that's above average that would be with that defense they had. We would probably be in the NFC Championship game. You know, I don't – like every year almost from 2019 up, we couldn't even – we go 8-8 eight, eight the last two years. And the first thing y'all can do, y'all make y'all make all this room under the – try to get under the cap just to sign Andy Dalton to give away $10 million. Well, we could have used that for other stuff. Like, come on, man. Ain't nobody trading with us. The only thing I can see happening right now is we either go in there and get Kellerman, like I said, because I like Kellerman. I don't care what nobody say. The boy can play. He just need a little time, like I said, to 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 build up, like just like Aaron Rodgers did, like a couple quarterbacks did. He's a little time to sit back and pay attention. Which will probably take a year 
which is I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm waiting this long. I'll wait a year, you know what I'm saying? But whatever the case may be. But we need a we, we need a better quarterback play, man. This is not it, man. Our deep we wasted our deep.